Hello and welcome to the next Building Endeavour video. My name's Andy and join me in these weekly updates as I build HMB Endeavour. Welcome back and thanks for watching these videos. I do hope that you are enjoying them. Remember you can view all of them starting from the very beginning of the building of this kit. Uh, some ooh, 18 months ago now it's coming up to so in this week's video we're gonna continue doing these uh, rigging channels here so these dead eyes have to be connected to these chain links that are really just um, one mil brass rod that's going to go here we'll do them on the mizzen one as well and we'll do on the other side the same thing um, also there's a few bits and bobs that have to be drilled and put into the uh, side of the hull and if all that goes to plan we'll get on to putting these um, swivel guns on top of these posts here as well so let's start with the rigging channels so first I just need to cut some uh, this one mil brass wire about 55 mil length each one all right so I'll just need another one two three four five six 12, about another 20 of those. Ugh, I wish I had 20 more. <laughs> wow, look at that. I must do that more often. All right, so all those cut lengths of brass aren't really straight at the moment. A lot of them are curved and bent like this. So the best way to straighten them out is just to roll them on a flat surface. I'm just going to get them fairly as straight as I possibly can by hand and then I've just got a flat piece of plastic on the surface here and you can just roll it fairly firmly all the bends come out like so so I'll do that with the rest off camera and then I'll get on to building the, the dead eyes which go on the end there okay all straightened up all right, so I'm going to make one of the dead, eye, dead eyes here. Uh, the rest I shall probably do off camera. But just to show you, I'm going to use these pliers here. Get a nice curve going round. Yeah, just made a little kick and I can straighten that up in a minute. So, like I said, six of those and four of the smaller dead eyes here as well. So I'll do those now. Okay, so that's all the dead eyes done. Now time to prepare the rigging channels. I need to drill a one millimeter hole along the boards. Let's do that next. Right, next, you can see they're all in place, just temporarily really. I'm just gonna mark 20 mil down the length of each one, and that's gonna be the, the bend point. Okay.
all the chains done, I'll just have to do the same on the other side uh, and then paint them black. I'll do the other side though off camera. Okay, so before I get on to painting, I'm just going to show you actually how I do these individually rather than uh, doing it for the time lapse. So here's one of the channels. I'm going to pop it down here. I've already pre drilled a, a one mil hole here. Uh, I'm just going to measure it uh, 20 mils down the length of this. Okay, I already drilled that hole, like I say, that's 15 mil below the whale here. So when I bend this, I know that it all should all fit into place neatly. So we'll put it about there. Yep, and then just bend that over. Not quite at right angles. Okay, snip that off. Very firmly, the whole thing like that. Okay, just straight that. Okay, to get the final effect, I'm just going to drill 0.6 mil hole here, just to help me locate the pin, which is going to go underneath. There we are, one of the channels done. So I'll continue on and we'll get to painting. All right, and there's the starboard side, finally complete as well. On to the next bit. Okay, a very, very quick update. Uh, <clears throat> I've had to rectify a problem. Uh, here, I've mistakenly put these smaller size dead eyes all the way here and on the other side as well. So off camera, I've had to replace them all and re refit them. So that was an extra thing I didn't want to have to do. Right, on with the painting. All right, now to do the painting on these chains here, I've um, put some tape. This is a, a Scotch tape, pressure sensitive tape. Uh, makes good masking tape. I've put plenty on, on the behind here, so I'm not gonna mark the hull with this black paint. Uh, while I'm at it, I've got some of these cannons. I've already tried a little bit of the black paint on. It seems to be works stays on uh, they've all been drilled as well to mimic um, actual uh, you know bores of the cannon um, the ones that come with the kit are just flat so I think it just looks a bit better with a drilled out hole so I'm going to paint these as well while I'm at it um, so let's get on with that now got the black paint out uh, there's one final tack I have to do onto here on the lantern I've got a um, black dry well I'm gonna dry brush this lantern and get a kind of required patina yeah it's just really just to age it a little bit it just doesn't look quite right in just the brass color does it yeah it's not bad I might do a little bit more to that let's see Yeah, I think that's the look. 
I did consider putting a light inside this, but I've just decided against it in the end. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, on to the next bit. Okay, so let's get these cannons painted up. See how it all goes on first of all. Now I am using this as pretty much of a, as an undercoat really. All right, let's get uh, sort of paint down the barrel. <laughs> yeah, it's light and dark in there, good. All right, that's one done. I'll do the rest on time lapse. Okay, so those are all the channel chains now done, painted black, and uh, yeah, using the masking tape was a big help. Now I'm going to create these. Um, these are what the swivel guns are going to go into. Focus. Uh, I've had to drill these out, these two little holes here. I've got to bend them up into a, a U shape and then mount them to the top of each of these here. I'll do one first and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, now I'm going to mount those on the posts. Okay, that's the last one of the holders for the swivel guns. Okay, now I need to paint the swivel guns with that uh, gun uh, gun colour paint uh, that I used on the main cannons earlier. So I'm going to put do that next. All right, I have all the cannons painted black now and clamped up in some way. Each of them. Uh, I'll use this metal coat. I'll uh, give them time to dry. It takes about half an hour and then I'll buff them before I show you the results. Last time I had mixed results, sometimes the paint flaked off, um, yeah, didn't grab onto the metal. So we'll see what happens this time with this undercoat of black. Uh, and if that's successful, then I can fit them onto the uh, um, mounting points on top of the Falconet's stanchions. Let's do that next. Okay, let's see how this has turned out. Um, it's got a duster here. I'm just going to polish off the dried paint now. Ooh, and a nice luster has appeared. Yeah, and it's staying on the gun as well, which is really good. Yeah, oh, I like that. All right, now there is another thing I do have to do before I actually put them on the um, holders, and that is to make a um, uh, a lever out of a piece of one mil brass. And the levers just go on the end here, come down, and then there's a, a, a bead that has to go on the end to mimic the firing mechanism, I suspect. All right, so I'll do the rest of these off camera, and then I'll start building those um, levers. So that's the lever for the guns, the falconets. I'll do that with all the rest and then I'll show you the results.
All right, so those are all the swivel cannons now put into place. Also called the Falconet cannons. Uh, done all those at the back and there's two at the front as well, all complete. Plus today we did the uh, rigging channels. So next week we're gonna get onto the uh, shrouds, uh, the rigging if you like, or the wrap lines that go from here up on the foremast. So if you do enjoy these videos, please do leave a like and hopefully subscribe. That is free of course, and I hope to see you on the next week's video. So until then, bye for now.